Hi, my name is Miguel from AvoidErrors.net. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to create a portable virtual Windows 8.1 or Windows 8. For this tutorial, I'm using a 300 gig external hard drive, but you can also use a smaller USB pen drive. I recommend it to be bigger than 50 gigs. Now, go to computer, make sure that your external hard drive or USB pen drive is uh, plugged in. I'll be using this external hard drive and for the installation media I'll be using a disk but you can also use an ISO to install Windows 8 or 8.1 now head over to vbox.me the link is in the description box below and here click on the link to download portable virtual box I'll save it because I'm using Firefox here I'll go to the uh, destination folder and double click to run portable virtual box extract to and browse for the external drive or USB pen drive there it is okay extract now head over to the external hard drive portable virtual box folder and run portable virtual box select the language okay and now check mark extract the files for 32 and 64 even though you're not going to install 64 it's good to have it in the future now click on download installation files of VirtualBox it's good to have the 64-bit uh, system just in case in the future you decide to create multiple portable virtual uh, windows one of them might be a 64 go ahead and click on OK now run portable VirtualBox if you see this, please start VirtualBox again so that all paths can be adapted. All it means is that uh, restart Oracle VirtualBox. So just close it and then rerun Portable VirtualBox. Here, click on New. Name your operating system. In this case, Windows 8. Next, I'll leave the uh, memory size default create a virtual hard drive virtual disk image dynamically allocated now before I click on create I want to make sure that the VDI file is gonna be installed on a directory inside my external drive because it's not it's not gonna be portable correct so it looks good we can resize the hard drive space but I'm gonna leave it default and click on create now go ahead and click on start and here it uh, automatically selected my drive E where I have my disk of Windows 8 but if not you can browse for that uh, disk or ISO and click on start I'm going to try to do this installation fast so go ahead and select language time keyboard and click on next install now enter your key once done next accept the license terms custom installation select drive 0 next it will restart many times if it asks you to boot from CD DVD do not press any key just let it run perfect from here on is uh, self-explanatory just fill in the blanks I'll select use express settings here sign in without a Microsoft account a local account enter the username finish the installation takes a little longer than that but I just uh, edit some part of the installation now once it finishes you have a currently working uh, portable virtual operating system now say you want to uh, run it on a different PC you need to make sure that when you plug in the external hard drive it adopts the same drive letter I'll show you what I mean now I have plugged the uh, external hard drive to this Windows 7 here when I go to computer 
my external hard drive has drive letter H which is the same letter that it had when we initially installed the uh, portable virtual box so in this case I don't have to change the drive letter now in case it adopted a different drive letter all you need to do is right click computer manage disk management locate your external hard drive here then right click on the blue bar change drive letter and path click on change and then from the drop down select the drive letter or the letter that it had when you initially installed portable virtual box and everything would work perfect thank you for watching this video my name is Miguel if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below thank you